Here with Endicott men's volleyball head coach George Chapel getting ready for the 2016 season. Coach, definitely had a good preseason so far. Just talk about how it's gone so far from your end. Yeah, I mean, the guys are getting after it. We have a, a deep returning core of guys. We have 10 total returners and six starters from last season's squad, except for our libero. Um, we brought in six freshmen and newcomers that are really challenging the upperclassmen. So we've been working and stressing fundamentals a lot early and also working in a lot of competitive scenarios that they've been getting after it day after day in the double sessions and working hard in the off-season, the weight room, and the training. Coach, just talk about your schedule. It's definitely a competitive one this season, especially with what you open up with this weekend at the JWU tournament. Just talk about that for us. Yeah, I mean, Johnson and Wales put together a great tournament for us. Um, we open up with the hosts on Friday, and then we go straight into number one Springfield. And then the next day, we have LaSalle to start, uh, start off the day on Saturday and follow that up with Rutgers Newark, who is number eight in the preseason poll. Um, all those teams, Johnson and Wales, um, LaSalle, Rutgers, Newark, and Springfield all return a nice core and brought in talented classes and they have great coaching. So it's going to be a good gauge to see where we start off early in the season. I mean, LaSalle is the only other team that has not started their season yet. Um, the other three have already played matches, so they've got a little bit of leg up and early start. So it'll be a good barometer to see how we're going to measure up for the season. Coach, just talk about being ranked number one in the preseason poll, defending NECC champions. Just talk about what that means. Yeah, I, it's great. It's a lot of fluff early in the year, though. Um, we want to end up as number one. Um, it's great for the guys. It's good to see their hard work and the off season in the previous years has paid off and we get the respect from the coaches. But every coach in our league is out there pushing hard, recruiting, coaching up their rosters and getting more and more talented and closing the gap on us. So we know day in and day out that we're going to be the biggest game on those team schedules, whether it's home or away. Um, so we've been able to get a nice boost of the fan support here and, and grow the crowds here. So we hope to continue that this year. Last question, Coach. Just talk about your outlook for the season. Obviously, just touched upon it a little bit, but just talk about what you're looking for this year. Yeah, we, we play a, a talented non-conference schedule. Um, as the mentioned, we've got those four squads to kick off the year. We include MIT, Riviere, um, LaSalle again. We're at Springfield with Stevenson. And then we get into conference play and, and, and wrap up the year with a match against Emmanuel in the non-conference play as well. Um, it's balanced throughout, and we hope that the early season trials and tribulations will help strengthen us for a long postseason run and look to make another NCAA tournament appearance. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.